If you're like me and you really, really want to know what's inside of your food, you might have thought about making your own yogurt. We eat a lot of yogurt around here and I just hate that the store-bought yogurt, first of all, it's either in plastic and although I have been buying the one that is in glass, it is very expensive and I just want to have more control over what's in it and if I give it to my kids or my daughter in this case, I just don't want so much sugar added. I want to just add my own fruit. So here's a really quick and super, super easy way to make your own yogurt. I just start with milk. This is a liter of milk and I just got this. This is literally out of the cow. This is raw milk and I just got it at a local farmer's. And so I'm just gonna put this in my crock pot. I have a small crock pot, so I usually just take a liter of milk, put it in the crock pot. It's non-homogenized, non-pasteurized. And um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm putting it on high for maybe about 30 minutes and then I'll put it on low. And I, I just cook it for about two and a half hours. It's been about two and a half, three hours, and I cooked it on high until it boiled and then I turned it down on low. And now I turned it off. And so, um, as you can see, there's a skin on top, but I'm not gonna take that off yet. I'm just gonna wait till it cools down. So now we need to let it cool down to room temperature or like lukewarm, really. Okay, now it is cooled down to lukewarm. And I'm gonna skim off this skin that is on this milk because I mean you could leave it on but then it would be in your yogurt so I'm just gonna take that off and now comes the most important part let me just check it to make sure yeah it shouldn't be too hot because otherwise you will kill the nice yogurt cultures so milk is nice and lukewarm uh, actually, it's a little hot. I'll wait just a bit longer and then I will put the yogurt that I kept from last batch. Just about a half a cup. That's all it takes. Okay, it's cool enough now. So now I'm going to just put that yogurt in here and that's the magic. So give it a really good stir. It's nice and lukewarm. Make sure it's nicely stirred so stir it for a couple minutes even and then we're gonna keep it warm overnight so if you can see this I'm gonna wrap it with a towel and then I'm gonna put it in the oven so I'm just gonna close this. And the only reason I'm keeping it in the oven is it's a safe place and the heat doesn't escape early from there. I don't have the oven on or anything. I just keep it in there. So now we're gonna just leave it in there for about eight to 12 hours, but I actually usually leave it in, let's see, it's 6 p.m. now, and probably I'll check it around eight or 10 a.m. So it's, 12 to 16 hours, I think then it really gets nice and thick. So let's check it in the morning. All right, it's 8.30 in the morning and I just took it out of the oven. Let's get that towel. And here is beautiful yogurt. All you have to do now is just stir it a bit. And so if you want it more, if you want it thicker, you can let it strain through a cheesecloth. After you stir it a bit, it becomes a lot creamier and it's delicious. I love it. I just always love to have a bunch of yogurt on hand without any flavors because what I do, I just do like a pina colada yogurt. I just add fresh pineapple or frozen pineapple and some coconut and put it in the fridge or some berries and I personally prefer this 100 times over the very sugary and artificial 
yogurt that comes in plastic containers from the store, which I haven't been buying for quite a while. So thank you so much for watching today. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos on minimalism, healthy lifestyle, decluttering your life and just simple living. Have a most wonderful day. Hope to see you soon. Bye.